How nice would it be to have six power modes to choose from? To save gas, to get better traction, to have less wear and tear on your vehicle, but to have the solid choice to go all sauce out if the need arises. So if any of this interests you, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like and bell notification so you can see more of these videos as I release them. Because here, our experience is your knowledge. Alright, let's get back at it. Today I talk about the electronic boost controllers, dealing more specifically with the old Blitz Dual Testing. Solenoid Boost Controller. System ready. I like it because it's less expensive, it's dependable, and it's really available on eBay. It's really simple to wire and install in the program for me. There are two types of boost controllers. There are manual boost controllers, and there are electronic boost controllers. We will be skipping experimenting with the manual boost controllers and we'll jump right into the best way to control your vehicle's boost. If you'd like to see some experience with manual boost controllers, check out Kenny Howard's channel.
I set my boost limiter per the instructions I shared. Then I start by adding a helper in the passenger seat to watch the boost gauge as I set the boost, which is basically the boost level limit. I found it is best to set the boost limit in third or fourth gear, the higher gears. You know, the higher the load, the more stable the boost. I usually go in increments of five. The higher the number, the higher the level of boost. I go through all four settings, changing the boost levels on each setting. Next, I set the gain. The gain is basically how fast the turbo comes in. I found the best results are usually in first and second gear to combat the boost spikes early. I usually tune for a one PSI boost spike and then tapers down to redline. This seems to give the quickest spool up results the best overall results in boost control. And remember the gain is only one setting. You can't change the gain setting for all four different boost limits or all six. And to revisit that, remember when I said I could have six power levels? Well here's the sauce. The first boost setting is my wastegate spring setting with the boost controller off. That's at 14 PSI. The second setting is 20 PSI on setting 1. And then 22 on the second preset. On up to preset 4, which is a total of 5 power settings. Then the sixth is your scramble mode. And you can look at the instructions that I share to set up the scramble mode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit like and subscribe. And press that bell notification so YouTube doesn't skip you when I make new videos just for you. Stay healthy. God bless.